So, Liz Truss has emerged from Boris Johnson's fridge after a week of hiding from the country, collapsing around her as a result of that mini-budget to do the media rounds and a stunning display of proving she's as sharp as a marble. She is seemingly oblivious to the carnage around her right now, sticking to her guns in the belief she is right to enrich the already wealthy further whilst penalising the poorest, cutting taxes whilst printing public money like it's going out of fashion. Honestly, if her brain exploded right now, I doubt it would ruffle her hair. She's still telling people nobody will have to spend more than two and a half thousand pounds on energy, despite this being the cap for average users only. And if you use more, of course, you're going to pay more, particularly affecting the elderly, the disabled and larger families who have higher energy needs through no fault of their own. Yet because Lizzie has all the political intellect of a person who chooses their favourite crayon by which one tastes best, they continue to be failed. The Bank of England has used £65 billion in quantitative easing, an amount it gives to the city every year for them to essentially gamble with, incidentally, to stop pension funds from collapsing, having called Trussonomics a material risk to UK financial stability. Sky News reported that if they hadn't done so, pension funds would have begun to go insolvent by yesterday. Your work pension, private pension, that you might have been paying into for decades, might have been gone like that. All the borrowing by Truss and Quartang, all the tax cuts and giveaways, None of it's been costed. No repercussions were considered. And we face cuts to public services and incomes yet again as a virtual certainty. The Bank of England warning these could be so severe it could end the NHS. Though with the pound now so weak, those American health conglomerates can pick it up at a knockdown price. Then there's mortgages. Rates are going to surge where people have been barely affording a mortgage such as has been the price of housing for so long. Another financial crisis such as the one that has been created here could see millions unable to cope with little savings and wages barely covering things as they are, losing their homes as a consequence. Combine that with a continuing rise in other prices, the pound still sliding, a recession looming which always leads to job losses, and all the ingredients are there for an unmitigated economic disaster, and it is entirely conservative-created.